All right, guys, as you guys know, I love history. Uh, specifically, I like, like the history of World War II um, and everything that goes with it. And there's a lot of history here in the Philippines. And when I'm in the area um, where there, you know, where some of the war um, things had taken place, I always like to stop and check it out. Um, when we were down in Maravellas uh, this past weekend, uh, we stopped at what I called the Ground Zero of the Bataan Death March. If you're not familiar with what the Bataan Death March is, um, it happened April 9th to the 17th in 1942. Um, between, it was between 60 and 69 miles roughly. Um, it went from Maravellas to San Fernando and then from San Fernando um, they were stuck on uh, train carts or you know they were stuck in a train in, inside the uh, box cars and then from there they went up to Capas and then from Capas they were marched up to Camp O'Donnell. Um, roughly, um, they, you know, they say there was roughly 60,000 to 80,000 POWs um, that the Imperial Army had captured um, when they invaded uh, the Philippines, um, but the An area, um, Crigador Island and all that, they were brought over and uh, to Maravellas here and then that's where they started the death march. Um, they, from what I was reading, they divided um, the, the groups of the POWs into groups of 100 and then started the march from there. Um, they say there was roughly between 50 or between 5,000 to 18,000 Filipino deaths and 5,000 to 6, I'm sorry, 500 to 600 U.S. deaths. Um, it was a very vicious march. Um, from, what, from what I was reading, um, if you didn't keep up, the, the Imperial Army, the Japanese Imperial Army, they would kill you, they'd shoot you, they'd bayonet you. Um, they were just vicious, they would just beat people just to beat people. Um, summertime, you know, heat, 110 to 115 degrees. Um, they marched these guys uh, hours and hours and hours, gave them no food, a little bit to drink. Um, I was reading where the Filipino people would come out and, you know, give the, um, you know, the, the marchers, the guys that were marching, some food and some uh, water. And, and they were taking their own lives in their hands by doing that. Um, but yeah, very vicious march. Um, if you're not familiar with it, look it up online and check it out. Um, it's part of the history here, part of World War II. You know, American soldiers and Filipino soldiers together bled together on this march. Um, but anyways, I put together a little clip, uh, like I said, when we were down there at what I consider ground zero of the, uh, you know, the death march here in the Philippines. Um, we were down there paying our respects. So anyways, you know, watch it to the end. I put together something, I, I got some, you know, some photos and stuff online and I put something together like a little tribute. So guys, watch it to the end. So um, anyways, I hope you enjoy the video. All right, I am now standing. I'm now standing at, I guess, what you would call ground zero for the death march. Um, this here is at zero kilometers. Um, this is in, in Bataan here. This is where the death march started. The death march uh, of World War II, um, where the, uh, when the Japanese came in and they started the famous death march. I'm up here, like I said, ground zero. And uh, I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you the area right here now. You know, there's the marker right there. Um, you'll see these markers going all the way up to, uh, you know, where it ended and where they took them to Camp O'Donnell. Um, but there it is, kilometer zero. This is where it all started. Um, and as you go up, you'll see these, you know, throughout, um, heading up towards Camp O'Donnell along side roads and highways and things. Um, and once you get to a kilometer mark, it'll tell you which kilometer it is. But this is the park area here. It uh, looks like they have some kind of Christmas lights going on here at night. Um, obviously, it's during the day. Um, but let me let me take a little stroll around here. Pinagasimolan, not Death March. In Tagalog, I don't know what it says, so I can't, you know, I can't tell you what it says. Uh, Camp O'Donnell, I can read Camp O'Donnell, 15 April 1942. Um, let me see, April, let me see, 10 April 1942 at 
but the on I, I can't read that guy sorry um, right there there's a memorial right there it's a nice little a nice little memorial park here nothing big nothing fancy what was down there reading Yes, Army Bataan Detachment, and then that's broke. I can't read the rest of that. And they got this memorial, uh, this memorial, sh I don't know, it's not a shrine, I guess you'd say, just, just a memorial here. Uh. flying this here is English and Tagalog right English and Tagalog the death march of Filipino and American prisoners of war from Maravelas and, Bag and Bagak to Camp O'Donnell Capas Tarlac 1942 so here it is then it goes into talking about the death march. Immediately after the fall of Bataan on April 9, 1942, the US FIP forces were evacuated by the Japanese from the field from the field of battle as prisoners of war. More than 70,000 Filipinos and American troops who had survived the battle of Bataan underwent in underwent in this evacuation and ordeal that history now knows as a death march. Uh, the death march started from two points in Bataan on April 10th, from uh, Maravelas on April 11th, from Bagak. The Filipino and American troops were marched by day and night under blistering sun and cold night skies, uh, staggering through Capacaban, Lemay, Orien, uh, Pilar, and Balanga where they were given a brief rest and some water. From Balang, the prisoners of war were organized into groups of 100 to 200 and under guard it marched, and under guard marched on through Abuque, Samal, and Orina, where the Americans were, were segregated from the Filipino prisoners of war and marched separately. The march continued northward through Hermos Hermosa to Lac, to, uh, to Layak, Junction, uh, thence eastward into Papanga, through La Lubo, uh, Gu Gugayo, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce these words, where the prisoners were arrested and given little food in the, in the National Development Company compound, uh, Bacalord in San Fernando. Already suffering from battle fatigue, the Filipino American troops were st uh, strained to utter extreme exhaustion. From this long march on foot, many were ill, most were feverish. But none, uh, on, uh, many were ill, most were feverish, but none, but, but none might rest. For the enemy was brutal with those who lagged behind. Thousands fell among the way. Township people on the roadside risked their lives by slipping food and drinks to the death marchers as they stumbled by. In San Fernando, the death march became a death ride by cargo train where the prisoners were packed too densely into boxcars and many of them perished from suffocations. Those who arrived alive in Capas and still were walking. Uh, the last and most uh, agonizing mile, the death march, the six kilometers to Camp O'Donnell, which was to become one of the most hellish of the concentration camps of World War II. There it is, guys. I figured I would read it so you guys kind of knew about it. Um, sorry if I bored you on that, but I wanted to uh, let you guys know what it says. So, oh, now we got some company. Hey guys. <laughs>